Hello there ladies and gentlemen. So as some of you might have known that I had problems installing Android 10 which uh, completely bricked my device. So this is a recording from earlier on and um, as you can see here I'm at the Qualcomm crash dump mode and I could not get out of this. Yeah so I could not get out of this no matter what I did. Like even if I tried using the trying to go into recovery by holding down the power menu and pressing the volume up button. That did nothing, I always ended up back here. But uh, eventually I managed to figure out how to do it and it's uh, quite long and tedious and a little bit complicated as well so uh, that's why I wanted to make a video on this. So in case you completely bricked your Asus rug then you know what to do. So basically there's this forum here, repair your with EDL mode and EDL mode is basically a kind of a um, hidden download mode of your phone which allows you to recover from everything. So like because I couldn't boot into fast boot I couldn't like use the normal uh, flashing method so I had to use this one. Uh, in order to use the EDL, you actually need to make a, well, you, you can buy a EDL cable, but I just made one because uh, shipping from China takes like two months or so. So this is just standard USB-C cable. Uh, make sure it supports data. And um, you'll need to look for four wires, red, black, white, and green. And now I have the white and uh, red kind of strapped inside here so they don't get in the way and what you want to do is cut the green cable in half, cut the black cable in half and then solder them together and then solder another cable on top of this because what we'll be doing to get into EDL mode on your phone is you'll need to short this and then unshort it basically and that'll get, get your phone into EDL mode. So before we do that, I'll show you the setup. So what you want to do is download this file here. From this link, I'll leave that link in the description. It's just a Google Drive zip file. And then once you are done that, I just saved it to here inside my folder. So unzip the file and it will unzip into this firmware and inside here you'll see a good few files. You might not see these because I think those are logs or something but anyway what you want to do is go inside this second one here and this is the drivers for Qualcomm. So double click on this and run the installation process and once you're done you can open up device manager and over here you should see a port come up later on. Now back to the phone, make sure your phone is switched off. If you're stuck in the, um, just hold down the power button and the two volume keys here. Keep holding them for around 12 seconds or so until you see the screen go black and so now what you want to do is make sure your cable is disconnected from the computer. Plug it into the side USB port, the black one. And then what you want to do now is with one hand hold these two together. So that's why it helps if you solder them because there's like a big ball of solder. <laughs> so just hold them like this fairly tightly. And we want to hold this for 25 seconds and then on and then just release it like pretty much straight away. And so while you're holding it, with the other end, you want to plug this into your computer and when you're plugging in, just keep holding it and then count to 25 seconds. So one, oh wait, hang on, my phone is still on. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you turn off your phone first. So as you can see, I fixed my phone already, but I'll just show you how it's done. 
So power off. Unplug the cable from the computer. So now the phone is off. Plug it back in. Then hold the two cables here and plug it back in and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, then let go straight away. And if we go back to the computer, now on the phone, it should be completely back black screen and it'll seem like the phone is off, but it's actually still on. So if we go back to the computer and if you're watching the screen, you might have seen like a pop-up here coming up. But anyway, you should have a ports section here pop up. And inside the port section, you should have Qualcomm HS USB QD loader 9008. Uh, if you have 900E, which is kind of the standard one if you're stuck on the other screen, that means you just have to do the procedure again. So just turn off the phone by holding the power button and the two volume keys, and then just hold the USB and then plug it in for 25 seconds and then hopefully it pops up. Uh, this time I got lucky and it only took me one try to do it, but usually it's like two tries. So once we're, once you have this, uh, you're pretty much good to go. That's kind of the hardest part <laughs> of this whole process. Um, if you can't get this, uh, you might find some tutorial where you can do update driver and then browse from my local PC and then you can select like drivers from here. Do not do this because it doesn't work. This is what I tried the first time and I wasted a few hours trying to get it work uh, using this, but it just doesn't. Like the driver will work, but you won't be able to flash because the phone itself is not in the right mode. So don't do this. Make sure you use like a EDL cable or just buy EDL cable. So once you're done that, what you want to do is you're back inside the folder that you downloaded, go into me flash and then run me flash exe. So it's the red icon here. Um, click yes on the supervisor thingy. And then over here, click refresh and you should see your device here. If your device is some weird number, uh, that means that you're not inside Q loader 9008 and you need to be inside it. Otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, sometimes I had this issue where I was in, in the wrong mode and it did flash, but it like didn't flash anything. It just said flash successful or whatever. So just don't do that. Um, over here, go to select and then go to where your where you downloaded your folder there, the firmware and click on the images folder and then click OK. And then once that's done, make sure you have clean all selected and press on flash. And as you can see, it'll take a while to flash. Now, um, you might get some error here straight away. That's because of this flash file. So what you wanna do is go into images, find the flash all bat, click on edit, and then just type this in. <laughs> All right, but if no error comes up for you straight away, then you don't need to edit that file. So this takes uh, quite a while to run. So I'll probably just speed up this video.
and while this is downloading because after we finish flashing this file it's gonna give us an older version so what you want to do is head down to this link and download the latest version here 901064 this is uh, still Android 9 by the way but so just get that download it and it will and then just save it wherever you want now I saved my one into here uh, you'll need to extract this twice basically so extract once and then extract twice and it should be okay and while everything is flashing your phone should look like it's completely off so that's grand all right so once this is extracted you can go in here and we'll be running this next after this is done all right there so as you can see flashing is done so the next step if you scroll down here you can see some steps posted by a guy here and these are pretty good basically you want to turn off the device and you should see here inside device manager because you don't really know when the device is off so if you watch device manager and at the same time while you're watching this uh, press and hold the power button and the two volume keys and then once this disappears you need to press and hold the power button and the up arrow or the volume up so at right now I'm starting to press the power button and the volume down and volume up keys all right disappeared so now I'm letting go of the volume down key and instantly I'm inside the fast boot menu so what you want to do is go into recovery mode now this will launch the standard Asus recovery not TWRP all right so now when we're in recovery you want to go into wipe data factory reset and go all the way down to yes and you can actually just unplug your cable from the phone and then just put this cable aside and I wouldn't recommend you use it for anything else other than flashing inside EDL mode since you know it's fairly jank <laughs> so yeah I'll just put that aside there and then you can just uh, reboot system now or because I'm going to flash the update I'm just gonna reboot to bootloader and then once again plug in your side cable here okay so just open up um, right click a uh, shift right click open command prompt here and then just type in flash all and then just click enter and I'll start flashing stuff so just wait for it to finish yeah so just leave this running like this for around 10 minutes or so and um, so your phone will just do nothing basically <laughs> All right, so as you can see there, it's finished and the phone is restarting by itself. Before we want to let it restart, we just want to go back into fast boot. So just wait for it to uh, start up and then we're just going to hold down the power button to shut it down. All right, so once you get to the welcome thing, just hold down the power button 
uh, power off. And then once you're here, just hold down the power button and the volume up button at the same time. All right, go, go into recovery mode by selecting these. And then reboot to, or wipe data, factory reset, and then click yes. And then reboot system now. Now we just want to set up the phone a little bit. So just go through the standard setup and then we'll install Magisk for later on. So after this video, I'll do a Android 10. Uh, well, I'll try installing Android 10 again because it didn't go so well last time. <laughs> but yeah. And since I want to keep root with Android 10, I'm going to have to install Magisk. So I have a... Go back to the screen here while I just do the normal setup. Yeah, so we're here somewhere in the latest folder. I have a Magisk putch, patched boot image already made. So I'll be flashing that in a bit after I set the phone up. All right, so the phone setup is complete now. So if we go into our system and check about phone and software information, as you can see, we are on the latest Android 9 version. All right, so that's grand. And so my next video will be, I'll actually record it straight away after this because I might as well. We'll just be trying to install Android 10 again. <laughs> All right, so thanks for watching this, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.